it and welcome back to my channel. I said I'd never do it again, but here I am in March doing it again. I'm creating myself a TBR. So last time we did this, hmm, like it technically worked, but at the same time it didn't. I don't set myself TBRs because I have this condition called mood reading and it afflicts a lot of people and it's, you know, it's only cured and only controlled by reading a book that you feel like reading. So the problem with this affliction is you can't set yourself strict TBRs because you'll either break them and feel bad or you'll restrict yourself to those you'll miss out on a book that you totally would have loved or you're just not in the mood for it so you're gonna hate it and then that affects what you think of the author and the book and the story so overall it's like uh, kind of dangerous not gonna lie so, I told myself that I'd never do it again, or at least try not to, because again, don't want to restrict myself, don't want to ruin some book experiences. But, like I talked about in a couple of my videos previously, my, um, I am now a live-in nanny. So that means that I don't have as much time to read as I did previously. So I feel like TBRs might be a little more in my retrospective realm now since I will only be home for one day a week and that will give me time to grab the books that I need to read and do all the things. So we are going to try for the month of March to see if I can give myself a sort of kind of TBR and see how many books that I can read. I cannot wait to see how this goes and what it looks like at the end of March when I do my wrap up. But until then, I'm not worrying about that right now. I'm going to talk about the books that I want to read in March. The first book I have heard people talk about non-stop since I got really, 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 really into the book world of social media. That made no sense. Anyways, that is Edinburgh by Julianne Donaldson. And I've heard ridiculous hype about this book, like everybody believes if you love this, you gotta read it, gotta read it, gotta read it, gonna love it type thing. And I just have, it's taken me a while, I just haven't gotten to it yet. But a beautiful, wonderfully talented author friend of mine was so gracious and she actually sent me a copy of Edenbrook and the next book in the series, which I'm not entirely sure what the name of that is. Well, we'll talk about it later, I'm sure. And this is the beautiful collector's edition. And it also includes the Heir to Edenbrook, which is a prequel novelette. Which I've never heard of the word novelette. Is that like a novella? Somebody school me in the proper terms because I feel like I'm sorely lacking. I'm sorry. But I don't know anything about this book and I really don't want to know anything about it. All I know is that I have tons of authors and friends who love it and enjoy it and it totally kind of seems like it'd be in my realm like look at this cover and I trust the people that have talked about this book so I'm very very excited to read it and it's beautiful. The next book is I should probably do this in a different order but I'm not going to because I'm just going to live my best life. True to You by Ms. Becky Wade. I still have not read anything by Becky. I know, crazy. Am I even an actual Christian picture lover? Yeah, I know. I'm working on it, guys. Hold your horses. I got you. Hopefully March is the month for this. My friend Miriam and I decided that we wanted to buddy read the story. And we've kind of struggled with timing. Not going to lie to you. And she's been kind of keeping me in the loop about a couple things. And so far, it's not really her cup of tea. 
But what she's saying sounds like it's totally my cup of tea. So I'm really, really excited to see what our opinions are and what kind of difference they are. And I like to know those things. So I'm very excited to read this book. Beautiful cover. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeousness. Again, don't know much about it. Um, and I don't care to know much about it right now. I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to get my expe expectations too high. All the things. So all I know is the cover is beautiful. I've heard raving reviews about Miss Becky. And I need to read it. So hopefully March is our month, people. March is our month. The next book that I'm hoping, hoping to read in the month of March is A Heart Most Certain by Melissa Jagers. This is book one in her Tivo Moral Society series. I think it's moral. Yeah. I think, like, that's how you spell moral, so I'm going to go with it. Uh, this is book one, and book three is actually coming out in March. How exciting is that? Congratulations, Miss Melissa. And I need to read books one and two so I can review book three. You know, like, I need, I need to read it and, like, do all the things. So I definitely need to jump on this so that I can read book two as soon as I'm done. So that I can read book three as soon as I'm done. Give the picture. I've been so excited about the series for, well, since it came out. Like, I remember when it was coming out. And I'm super, super excited. I'm so confused on why it took me so long to get to it. But I'm glad that I'm finally getting to it. And it will happen in March. Hopefully. And the last book that I'm trying to get to in the month of March is really outside of my comfort zone. And I am proud Good for you, girlfriend. And that is Brazen by Leanna Tank... Leanna Tankersley. I'm gonna go with that. I'm really sorry if I butchered that. I got this book oh, a couple months ago. And one, the cover was Gorn Draws. And two, something about it just really grabbed my attention. And I felt like it would be lovely read. So I really need to pick it up and I'm going to try to read a nonfiction book throughout each of the months. So we'll see how that goes. We're going to try. Again. We're going to try. And this is The Courage to Find the You That's Been Hiding. And I'm just really, really excited to read it. Something about it. I feel like I need to read it and it's really going to change my life. So... Yeah, I would love to read this in the month of March. I believe this is going to be my non-fiction pick for March. So I have four books set on my March TBR. Books that I really, 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 really want to get to and I'm really hoping to get to. And they will be kind of like at the forefront of my mind to get to. So it's not super strict and it's not super big or over zealous or anything like that but pray for me y'all because I do want to read them we're gonna get through this oh yeah I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video and you can totally be here and document my maybe failing maybe succeeding we'll see if you'd like to know you can totally wait around subscribe, turn the bell notifications on if you would love to see if I read it in at the end of March. Because I want to know what I read. Is there like a time machine? Can I see what I read in the month of March already? Like, why is that not invented? <laughs> of course, any of the books that I read in the month of March will be reviewed on Goodreads or my blog. And if you like to see what I say about those things, my blog is for love Christian fiction .com, where I blog every Friday. And my Goodreads link is down in the description box below. And I would love to have you on my Instagram if you want it. It's for love of Christian fiction, where you'll probably see quite a few of these books there as well because, well, books are just pretty and the covers are gorgeous. So why not? Again, all my other links are in the description box below. Connect with me, chat with me. I'd love to hear what you're reading and I'd love to become friends. I think that's it. <laughs> I'll see you guys next week. Bye.